happen to stay with the breath throughout the day. If you chop up your meditation times to times when you meditate and other times when you're not meditating, there's not much momentum. The momentum comes from keeping watch over your mind as you're going through the day, noticing if it's slipping out and what is it going for? What is it looking at? Why is it looking? And what happens as a result? If you don't keep watch on the mind like this, it's like having an animal that's not on a leash. It just goes running around all over the place. You have no idea where it is. You've got to keep it on a leash, and the leash has to be firmly planted. In other words, it has to be hooked on to something that's really solid, which is why we try to keep everything with the breath. Your sense of the body here in the present moment, the, either the in and out breath or just the breath energy in the body. This can be your anchor. So when you find something pulling against your anchor, you know, okay, it's going in the wrong direction. Then you bring it back. That way you get to observe what's going on in the mind and realize that some of the impulses are skillful and some of them are not. And what are you going to do? You can't follow the unskillful impulses because you know they're going to lead to suffering. You can't be complacent about them. So you've got to figure them out. Again, there's going to be a little bit of hunger in going after these things, so you try to assuage the hunger by staying with the breath and keeping it comfortable. That way you're coming from a position of well-being here in the present moment, a position of solidity, strength. You're not feeling weak and tired and the need to go picking up crumbs off the street. You've got good food here inside, so maintain, make sure you keep it good. Keep producing the good food inside, and that way the mind's tendency to go running out after things that are inspired by greed, aversion, and delusion, that tendency is going to get weaker. And then you'll be able to watch it more carefully and figure it out. Figure out what it's coming from, what you can do to stop it. So there's work to be down here, but it's work that's coming from a position of well-being. So it's good work. Good in the sense that it's there's a sense of well-being as you do it, and in the sense that it also gives rise to an even greater sense of well-being when the work is done. 